Welcome to Age Fit with Tess. My name is Tess, physiotherapist. By the end of this video, you are going to know a simple routine of knee stability exercises for arthritis. Make sure to join the Age Fit with Tess Facebook group to get further support with staying fit and active. Make sure to get the Are You On Track checklist to find out if you are on the right track with your exercise program. The link is in the description. Let's get started. The first exercise is heel slides. Sitting or lying down with your right leg, bend your knee and hip to slide your foot toward your bottom. Repeat 8 reps. Heel slides are an excellent warm up exercise, particularly if you experience joint stiffness within your knee due to arthritis. You should begin to feel stiffness ease as you move through this exercise. Work within your own range of motion and avoid moving to the point where you feel any more than mild pain. As we go through this routine, one of the components that makes it helpful for developing knee joint stability is that each exercise, aside from this warm up, is a closed kinetic chain exercise. This is because our feet will be in one position on the ground during each exercise. Switch to repeat the heel slides with your left leg, again completing 8 reps. Closed chain exercises are opposed to open chain exercises such as knee extensions in sitting where our lower leg and foot are moving throughout the exercise. Closed chain exercises assist in joint stability by reducing shear forces and promoting sequential muscle activation of multiple muscle groups to control and support joint movement. This is particularly helpful for those with arthritis because the feeling of joint instability is a common frustration, particularly in the knee joints. Complete the final rep with your left leg. Moving on to the second exercise, quad activation in sitting. Sitting on a mat or bed, place a rolled up towel under your right knee. Press your knee into the towel. You should be able to feel your quadricep muscles just above your knee activate. Complete 8 reps. Quad activation in sitting is another excellent warm up exercise to complete before any leg strength workout as it preps our quads to activate when completing exercises involving multiple muscle groups like mini squats or lunges. Moving to place the towel under your left knee, again complete 8 reps. To learn progressions from quad activation in sitting to being able to complete mini lunges, check out the video in the cards called Knee Osteoarthritis 3 Easy Exercises. Completing the final two reps, again pressing your knee into the towel, activating those quadricep muscles. The third exercise is bridges. Lying on your back with your knees bent and feet shoulder width apart, lift your bottom off the ground. In addition to working the glute muscle group, bridges also work the hamstring muscles at the back of our knee. Hamstring exercises such as bridges complement quad exercises such as quad activation and mini squats to build strength in the primary muscle groups that support the knee joint. On to our standing exercises, we're going to complete two rounds of 8 reps for each exercise. The first is mini squats. Standing, bend at your hips and knees to squat to roughly 45 degrees. Repeat 8 times. For the purpose of knee stability, mini squats help to build strength primarily in the quadricep muscle group. The fifth exercise is dumbbell mini deadlifts. Stand with your feet shoulder width apart holding onto hand weights. With your knees slightly bent, bend at the hips to lower the weight toward the ground. Keep your back straight throughout. Pause around knee height and then come back to standing. Repeat 8 reps. On to our 6th exercise, mini lunges. Holding on to a stable chair or object with your feet apart, bend at your knees to lunge. When completing lunges with your front foot, always aim to keep your knees behind your toes. Repeat 8 reps with your right foot forward. Switch to place your left foot forward. Mini lunges are an excellent exercise to help build quad and hamstring control and strength. 
To learn how to progress lunges, check out the video in the cards called Knee Strength Beginner to Expert. On to the second round of standing exercise, starting with mini squats, again completing 8 reps. If you find mini squats are too easy, you can progress to completing full squats or continue mini squats holding onto hand weights. You could also complete mini squats holding onto the back of a stable chair or object for balance. Next is mini deadlifts. Similar to squats, if you find mini deadlifts are too easy, progress to full deadlifts or use heavier weights. From the side angle, we can see we are aiming to get the weight down to around knee height, whilst keeping our back nice and straight. And on to our second round of mini lunges. Remember to get the Are You On Track checklist to find out if you are on the right track with your exercise program. To work with me one on one in the Fit With Arthritis program, apply through the link in the description. Fit With Arthritis is a program for those with arthritis or joint pain who are needing help with activities like walking, hiking and building strength and fitness. Again, you can apply via the link in the description. Make sure to subscribe and ring the bell for the next video where I'm going to show you shoulder stability exercises for arthritis. To continue to stay fit and active in the meantime, watch these two videos right here. See you next time.